Dr. Heineken, thank you so much for meeting with me. It's my pleasure. Why did the university feel the need to change Alcohol EDU? The old Alcohol EDU just wasn't made for a place like USC. It was like giving abstinence only sex education at a brothel. So, uh, how does the USC tailored version uh, differ from the original? Well, they're pretty similar, but I guess the biggest difference is that USC students are far worse. What kind of new questions does this program ask? Our most promising USC specific questions are 1. Which weekdays are socially acceptable to consume alcohol on? And 2. List three Trojan values violated by fornication on top of WPH. One undergraduate has obtained a fake identification and solicits his roommate to throw a party. Our program provides real-world reasoning for complicated situations. Hi, new roomie! Hi! I'm Jonathan Walker. I'm James Beam! Hey, you know what we should do? Study! Actually, I was thinking we could throw a first day of school party. Gnarly! And with this fake ID, we can buy all the booze we want. Cowabunga! Should James A just say no? B threaten to report Jonathan or C tell Jonathan to save some hooch for him and that he's one rad mofo. The correct answer is irrelevant. Please continue watching for four more hours. You're a 43 year old commercial truck driver from Saskatchewan? That's so Canadian! I know! <gasps> Our studies conclude that there are a number of reasons USC students provide to justify their drinking habits. This list was compiled over years of thankless toil by a team of underpaid psychology graduate students. 1. What else are they going to do on a Saturday night? 2. Lower social inhibitions 3. Heart-wrenching sense of loneliness 4. It makes the Red Bull taste better 5. I don't remember 6. A beer or 6 won't kill me after a long day on Facebook 7. Required for beer probably 8. Engineering 9. After read James Joyce 10. Want to write like James Joyce? Now we see the effect of alcohol on the confidence of one member of the male species when dealing with the female. Hey, 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 I got a question for you. Why was six for a seven? <laughs> Por que seven, eight, nine? Am I right? <laughs> You're speaking of numbers, can I have your digits? <laughs> yeah. Hey, knock, knock. Party my pants is there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Am I right? Hey, feel this. Feel this. Hey, you know how I got this? You know how I got this? I beat the shit out of a rhino in the Ukraine. It was awesome. Not as cool as that time that I, that I legitimately ate a sea lion because he looked at my girl the wrong way. Like, why don't you guys even ever want to have sex with me? I have mommy issues, but it has nothing to do with that. I swear I'm good. Not even addicted to glue anymore. I mean, it was, it was past mistake, indiscretion, and I'm totally clean. But, you know, I just don't understand why you can't just want the D. Bullshit. 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 Residential assistants, or RAs, are part of every undergraduate's life here at USC so we thought it vital to portray them in a realistic fashion. Oh, Topsy-turvy-wurvy-wopsy-fuck! Shit. Ah! Paperwork. Help me unsee this. Help you unsee... What? Okay, bye. Alcohol itself has many adverse effects on the human physiology, the most immediate of which is the hangover. We try to make the hangover experience as close as possible to reality in our program. Oh, fuck. I need to be in my class at 10. Dude, it's 3 o'clock. And that class was Tuesday. Of last semester. Okay. With our new program, I can confidently say that we won't have another alcohol-related incident at USC again. Maybe not. I have no idea. This is Bex McGinnis for Sack of Troy News.